In the heart of the factory, the journey of a thermos begins with a simple stainless steel tube. A specialized machine grips the tube as a high-pressure jet of water washes its surface, preparing it for the transformation ahead. The tube is then fed through a series of rollers that ensure it is perfectly straight and ready for shaping. Next, the long tube enters a precision laser cutter. With incredible speed and accuracy, the laser makes a clean cut, dividing the tube into individual sections, each destined to become the body of a thermos. The cut sections are then transported to a shaping station. Here, a worker manually feeds each piece into a machine that uses immense pressure to neatly curl and finish the edges of the tube. Now, the process becomes fully automated. A robotic arm picks up a tube and places it into a powerful hydraulic press. With controlled force, the press molds the tube, creating the initial shape and closed bottom of the thermos. The robotic arm then carefully removes the newly formed piece. The thermos bodies move along a conveyor belt to the next station. Here, another robotic arm places them into a spinning machine. As the thermos rotates at high speed, precision tools shape and narrow the neck of the bottle. The shaping process continues as the thermos is moved to another station. Here, the top edge is meticulously rolled and formed to create the lip of the bottle, ensuring a perfect seal for the future lid. With the main body formed, the thermos is now ready for finishing touches. A laser trimming machine precisely cuts away any excess material from the top and bottom, leaving a smooth and flawless edge. Finally, in the last automated step, a robotic arm picks up the completed thermos body and places it onto another machine that threads the neck. This allows the cap to be screwed on securely. The finished bodies are then lined up on a conveyor, ready for final assembly, cleaning, and packaging. From a simple tube to a finished product, precision engineering and automation work in harmony.